This is Twit. What do we know about Apple's glasses? Their ambition, we've heard rumors in the past that they might have a VR headset this year, but the true AR glasses next year. Kelly, what, what do you think? What's what's going on? Uh, I Well, I don't know any... I'm not convinced about the timeline from anybody, first of all. Uh, I think the, the glasses are going to be really complicated because we've seen two iterations of glasses from other companies fail uh, for loads of reasons, whether it was expense or reliability or they were just sort of awkward to use or... It made people feel weird about, like, I know that your glasses are looking at me separately from yeah. your eyeballs looking people at me. People would wear a Google Glass into a bar and get beat up. Yeah. <laughs> so I think <laughs> until they can get over, that like, that, you know, that piece of it, I, I don't. I don't know what it is that Apple's going to bring to this that's going to make it any more appealing to the same people who went, well, you know... Uh, like the Snapchat glasses are are very weird looking and they're all bright yellow and like nobody wants to nobody wants to wear them and the Google Glass ones were like you know super obvious you know looking like Google Glass and not just sort of regular glasses from people and how they're gonna get around that like I don't want your glasses recording me you know if I don't know about it already or whatever I have um, no idea what you're talking about I think. Uh <laughs> These you look, look awesome. These look completely normal. I thought, I th is, is that Leon Redbone that's taking over the host of the <laughs> show? I approve. <laughs> Let me get my banjo. <laughs> but my ukulele is in the other room. So, but um, that's Kelly. Isn't that exactly what Apple's so good at? Is taking a product. Think about the iPod. It was pre it was preceded by a lot of kind of not so it great was no MP3 nomad. players. Yeah, right. <laughs> the 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 right. Diamond Rio yeah. the. Uh, the Lame. Sansa, the, uh, there was that was that car head unit that was like had a hard yep. drive in it. Uh, that's exactly that. what a, the, the product category Apple likes to be in, right? Are those snap yes. And wearing, the Leo? thing is, like, I'm yes. not sure how they're gonna. I'm not sure how they're gonna crack it. Is the thing. Like, I have no doubt that they could. If anybody could, it's gonna be Apple. It wasn't Snapchat. I don't think it was Google. So definitely I wasn't think Google. That they yeah. Could how about uh, Oculus? How about Facebook with the Oculus? Uh, well, I mean, you can't really wear right that now. to a bar, yeah. can you? No, that's. I mean. but that's what the rumor is. That, by the way, did you call these my snapticles? Yeah, with, uh, with, okay. the snap uh, spectacles, right? <laughs> yeah, but I think I never They're heard them called the snapticles, but I think that might actually be a good thing. For <laughs> this is not the, this is the first generation. This is not the current generation. Are you snapping us right? Did you just snap, Andy? I'm snapping you. Are you snapping you. us right now? Right now, I'm snapping uh -huh. you, yeah. So these are the opposite of, I think, what Apple is... The rumors are Apple would do. These are all about cameras, and the rumor is Apple's won't have a camera at all, right? It's Kelly, isn't that right? Lidar. That's that's what I've seen, and like that may that takes the whole uh, awkwardness of wearing them like away from the people around you. Like, remember having people around you? Um, <laughs> yeah, right like now I don't need uh, I don't need augmented reality glasses. I know where my sofa <laughs> is in my living room. I don't. <laughs> right, and like I think. If there's no camera, I think that helps solve a lot of the problem that people who didn't wear them had with people who did. That's right. I agree. So but I, it also I think takes away a lot of to see where that goes. It also takes away a lot of functionality, right? Maybe, but maybe not. Like, I don't know, maybe part of the the lidar stuff is like lidar is partly echolocation, I think. Like it's not all like using Kelly. the camera lens to do things. It's like laser and echolocation stuff. And so if it's doing that, like there's no need for a camera. You could make a, th a 3D image of the world around you. Yeah. You, and you our wouldn't Apple tags will tell them who we are, Leo. They don't need to see us. It'll just say, D -D -D, like it'll be like Daredevil, radar sense, and then it'll detect a person there and her <laughs> Apple tag will say Kelly. So I'll be fine. So I could upload a 3D <laughs> image of Kelly to my Instagram, but not a picture. No, you can't well, do it. No, I don't. I don't think Leo. any. I think there's going to be like data store, like data, you know, security around any of that. So you couldn't. But um, I think it's going to be interesting to see, like, if there's no camera, how they're going to get around some of that functionality. And it's also possible, like, we've seen a lot of advances from Apple with regards to accessibility and uh, what things look like, and recognizing that there are people in the world who aren't. 
uh, you know, within what are like the standard usage guidelines for Apple software and Apple hardware. And so maybe this is just going to be a huge push for people who need visual assistance could wear these and be able to get around a lot more easily. And it might be something along those lines. Like we know that they are go they're going huge into health and well-being and, you know, tracking, uh, you know, tracking uh, different statistics like, you know, heart rate and uh, how well did you sleep and stuff like that. And so this could just be another piece, like slightly with a health angle that maybe, you know, complements the watch in some way. Andy, do you think augmented VR, what do you think? Do you, th do you go along with the time, the proposed timeline by the rumor mill that it'll be VR this year, or AR next year? Does that make sense? I don't know about the actual timeline of when we can expect these things, but I definitely agree with the idea of if Apple is really serious about this, the only thing they could do right now is virtual reality. Uh, and they're very, very well, pos very, very well posed to do virtual reality in a way that would make people want to buy uh, a VR headset in the same way that they would want to buy uh, a five or $600 game console, or more like as likely the way that a company would want to buy uh, these things in the hundreds for training. Uh, the problem with augmented reality is that I'm not aware right now of any display technology that could give us augmented reality the way that we keep imagining it to be where I'm wearing these I'm wearing these glasses they are somewhere on the spectrum from Andy and Otko to all the way up to Roy Orbison meaning they're wearable they don't distract from what people <laughs> how people react to me and they will still be able to they will give me the thing where if I'm walking around it is adding things to my field of view and enhancing and annotating things I'm not aware of any display technology that would work that way unless you wind up with a magic leap sort of situation where you have thick goggles and some sort of tether to a, a pod that's on your that's on your belt uh, so I do like the idea of Apple starting off by taking all a lot of the functionality that they've been putting into the iPhone particularly with its APIs uh, and also with its with its uh, artificial intelligence research and putting that into something where they don't really have to worry about well what if what if it is too heavy to, to wear uh, for eight hours a day well can we do it for two hours that's fine what if the battery can't last more than uh, 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 an hour and a half well that's fine too what if it does make you look like uh, Lobot plus Georgie Jordy LaForge we can do that too those are things that are attainable <laughs> Uh, th th when because when uh, when we talk about self-driving car, at least the basic technology is there. We can make it work. It just is not going to work perfectly at this point with uh, augmented reality. Again, within the context of a wearable thing that people will want to wear, I don't know of a display technology right now that can make that happen. I'm, again, maybe I'm uninformed. Maybe Apple has patents that they've – things that they had, don't even dare patent at this point. Uh, but that's how I feel about it. And I I, think, I, But I don't think – but I think I, – I agree with what Kelly said uh, earlier that I don't think that they would be doing it this year or maybe right. maybe next year. I, I would, But I'd be interested in the year after that. There's a certain amount of um, uh, kind of people trust – that Apple has some magic under the hood that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. And we that's just kind it's of just patience. presumed, but it, it, it's not necessarily the case. Let me read to you what Mark Gurman said on Thursday uh, in Bloomberg. Apple's first crack at a headset is designed to be a pricey niche precursor to a more ambitious augmented reality product that will take longer to develop, according to... People with knowledge of the matter. Mark usually has pretty good inside uh, sources. Those people, yeah, people. <laughs> he knows. He knows people. The initial device has confronted several development hurdles. The company has conservative sales expectations. Um, he says it's mostly virtual reality. He says 2022, not this year, but next year. But it will display an all-encompassing 3D digital environment for gaming, watching video, and communicating. I think this is going to be a... That's a tough nut to crack because uh, Facebook's really there already, with especially with the Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, but you know what you get with Oculus? You get Facebook. Yeah, and I think yeah, that was a strategic certainly. blunder by Facebook that has yes. kept me from buying a Quest. That's why I don't have one. Me too. Yeah. Uh, that is kind of... That is really a self-inflicted wound. I don't, I don't really get what Facebook's... I had the Quest that. One. I was all ready to buy the Quest yeah. Two, and then they started. To, they every time they say we swear we're never going to conflate Facebook IDs with the company we just bought, and yep. every time they do it, so I can only blame myself at this point and vote with my wallet. And I said no. <laughs> you know, I think they're starting <laughs> yeah. to realize it because there is there seems to be a mass exodus from WhatsApp for that very reason. Oh, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. And they reacted fast. They always say we never react quickly. We always wait. They reacted so fast to WhatsApp. Yeah, they, they put mm -hmm. off the, that privacy change that would merge WhatsApp's information with because Facebook. Because we misunderstood. We were confused about what they you were saying. You didn't know it wasn't what them. we were doing. Yeah, you, weren't, you didn't understand. We're going to wait till April to confirm that. And what they'll do is wait till the news cycle moves on and then they're yes. going to go, Phew. <laughs> but it's interesting because Facebook is oh you know there's been a lot of delete Facebook movements, uh, several of which I've participated in. Uh, but there's <laughs> never that's never hurt. It's never wounded Facebook in any appreciable way. I have to think maybe you know 20 million people leaving WhatsApp is not insignificant, and I think that's the yeah ballpark figure. Uh, Telegram says thank you. Yeah, tele. <laughs> uh, tele so, so signal we th we th have th have heard had something like 10 million new uh, subscribers, but yeah. they, they're hoping to get to 100 million, and, and they're much farther yeah. along than they were because of WhatsApp. We don't know how many new users Telegram has, but I would guess it's quite a few. I'm starting to hear from uh, non-tech people saying, because mm -hmm. I've been on Telegram for years, saying, I'm going to use Telegram rumors now. it's a stupefying number of new users, like yeah. a, a, rid mm -hmm. a ridiculous beyond any expectation number Give of new take. users. <laughs> well, and, and so that's not happened before to Facebook. So yeah. that's got to sting a little bit. So in any event, that, to get back to this uh, this AR thing, I mean, obviously Apple is going to require an Apple account with, <laughs> with their VR, but it's not that's not as punishing as a Facebook account. The interesting, the really interesting part of this though is that it ties into the rumors of the new Apple TV that they've been holding back on for a little while now. Oh, that's where there was that? like a conservative model that was just an A12. Uh, X processor, but a more ambitious model that was going to be higher end gaming and that Apple might even start investing in studios beyond Apple Arcade oh. to make it really a first rate gaming so experience. Are you saying Almost the TV, like TV would be a base, a base unit for the, the headset? The service would be cross device and the device, the, the, yeah. the helmet would be like the premier way of experiencing it. And you can also play on your TV and your iPhone and your iPad, of course. Pretty much guarantee Apple will not like call it a helmet. Plus on the head. <laughs> yeah. like, like the, fitness they'll plus somehow on the make helmet. a deal with Disney and they'll call it the Lobot, right? Because it'll go around the back of your head with all the batteries and stuff. So you can The play original the Apple TV was called the Lobot. Oh, so really? The history there. Oh, I didn't know. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because it was a lobotomized Mac. That's why I went there. Really? Um, well, see, you guys are way yeah. ahead of me. You got well, that inside. Did, like, yeah. Are you twins? Uh, are you doing twin talk now? We travel no, in that similar was just circles. A bonus, <laughs> it's also a bonus Star Wars reference. Hi. So um, the the other piece of it, though, I think is that, uh, like, we keep talking about the Apple TV, like, someday we're going to get a new one. Like, someday, you know, Apple keeps sort of trying to be a little bit, at least partly a gaming company, and we're not getting enough out of them for the most part to really feel like they're taking that completely seriously. So, uh, like, having the gaming, the gaming part be a serious component in why the Apple TV hasn't, the new iteration of the Apple TV hasn't been released yet makes a lot of sense. So I hope that that's true and that we do get something great in gaming from Apple TV because I think there are a lot of people like me who don't want to uh, put the money down on like a PlayStation or an Xbox. Like I'm not a hundreds and hundreds of dollars to pay for it, gamer. I'm like, a, I'll pay five bucks a month to Apple Gamer right. and maybe buy a hundred dollar box and not a five hundred dollar box. So well, but like, German, I think there are German a lot of people who would do that. German says that this first headset will be more expensive than those from rivals and of course the quest 2 starts yeah. at what 250 300 they'll be the airpods max of, of vr headsets <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh app, <laughs> some apple insiders i'm quoting again mark german believe the company may sell only one headset per day per retail store so that's not that's yeah. that's nothing to that, that's, that's, not, that's not very that's not very apple that's that's one yeah. of the things it's that got really me thinking yeah, i don't know i don't know if they, if they, they would do it that way the technology but one, out it's super <laughs> yeah. expensive. They want to make sure that it's that's, yeah, that's less than Jordy a hobby. Richie, everybody. That's, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> Either Cyclops or oh, Freddie LaFord. He's wearing, or oh, I get it. Those are the uh, LaForge, AirPods Pro and Max, and you're looking through the Which headband. Are more expensive than yeah. I think an Oculus yeah. Quest. <laughs> yeah. Why don't and these are just go on your ears? Hey, wait they a minute. Let's conflate two big rumors. We talked about it last week, the rumor that you'll be able to replace the headband. What if you could replace the headband with Geordie <laughs> Forge glasses? With a visor. That drops with down when necessary, yeah. A ruby visor. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now, yeah. the, the clamping force on your head is going to be kind of intense, but I'm <laughs> let, there are a lot of Apple fans who will go for that. <laughs> It'll keep your uh, head smaller, Andy. I need that. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> Keep you from getting a swelled head from being an Apple I mean, user, it, which is being an impossibility. Your, but your ears are holding it wrong. Yes. Well, can you just imagine what, doing Fitness thing, Plus and having your rings close in 3D on your visor as you just keep, you know, trucking uh, along? I feel they'll like find, Fitness they'll find more Plus metrics. in the helmet would be terrifying. <laughs> what, one, th one thing that I wanted that I wanted to to, to bring in, though, uh, the you think about Apple doing a VR headset and a headset that creates virtual reality experiences. That's very very prudent that's very very good one thing with apple though is that you wonder if they're going to also they're also working on a piece of hardware for generating that kind of vr en environment not just software not just apis but what if they are working on a vr camera so that not necessarily not, not a not a 3d iphone but iphone camera but something that will allow producers and then consumers to capture uh, augmented reality experiences and deliver them even if they were just to simply even if they were to start really really uh, small and say and when they're uh, create a, a road kit that they could bring to events that they could bring to concerts that they could bring to speeches and things like that and capture that sort of stuff so that they can create a new channel on apple vr plus so to speak uh it's there's a lot that apple apple has the firepower to accomplish whatever they want to do and this is why we can spend an hour talking non bs wise about uh, possibilities of unannounced products wait 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 so andy the thing that you just said gave me an idea um what if part of the the lidar 3d like mapping of what these can of what like the goggles or the you know the lobot that we are talking about like the 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 technology that makes that possible like in a real space to know not to walk into a wall or walk down the stairs or whatever um like that's the same technology you would need in an automobile. So if they're making this for the helmet, like you could scale that up to an auto and then like it's the same principle of like keep you from crashing into stuff, keep you from harm, you know, by walking off the edge of something, walking into a wall, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you would need all of those same things if you were designing something that required the ability to navigate without assistance. Yeah. Like you would I, need I, this. I, you would need the same thing. So I wonder if maybe there's some overlap between our first story and our second story. I, I certainly think that Apple is Apple. Uh, they've never been. They Apple has never been a company of individual divisions that are sort of like sub companies making their own independent products. They are all building. The, every <laughs> person no who works Apple at Apple, silo. every project. They, exactly. They all. Work, so I. I believe that Apple believes its research money is best put into creating things that they could put into as many of products as possible. So maybe I maybe I, I have a hard time imagining a one to one mapping of car technology being used for a personal uh, collision avoidance. But nonetheless, the pro the the sort of breakthroughs you need in uh, image processing, the the sort of uh, AI models that you would need to build with, with a much more complicated rig that you could then compress down and put the model right. itself into a more uh, portable thing. And that's absolutely spot on as far as I'm concerned. I am going to guess that what's really happening here, and maybe why Dan Riccio is moving over to this division, if that's where he's going, is that this is a really tough engineering problem. Uh, yeah, one, sure. of the, one of the things German says is the, the initial versions that included hand, uh, fans and heavy-duty processors uh, caused neck strain, and they were concerned about that. Uh, if if you have a, a headset, you can't lift. Well, there your was head. a lawsuit. Remember, there was in the court documents. There was a lawsuit of some a tester who got injured. Yeah, uh, who did get injured in the next mm -hmm. testing. So one of the I'm gonna guess. We know Apple throws a lot of spaghetti against the wall. Not all of yeah. it sticks. A lot of it probably doesn't stick. And I'm gonna guess this is not yet a releasable product. That it may never be released. People, calm down. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the reasons. iPod phone. Yeah, one of the reasons <laughs> there is a lot of. Uh, ferment around this is because for a while Tim Cook was saying augmented reality a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Has he calmed down on that? No, but it's it's not like a product. Like when he says augmented reality and when he says a autonomous movement, he's talking about like stuff like they devices have. having displays. Yeah, it's like an iPhone has mm -hmm. a display, an iPad has a display. Yeah. It, display is not a proprietary, it's not a product. It's just one of the technologies that are going to enable a whole generation of products. And they see they very much see AR and VR as next generation display technologies yeah. like mini LED and micro LED, but not necessarily not headsets. Uh, and and I think yeah. so. Any, it's it's you know. We're in that same cycle we were with the Apple television set. 
uh, where we spent hours speculating on something <laughs> that never was going to be released. And I they built at least two prototypes. So I'm guessing Johnny Ive uses them every Super Bowl. Every Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get an invite to Johnny's house for the Super Bowl. Or, They're 720p, 60 hertz, but still, the case on that, the bezels are beautiful. Just it's beautiful. There's, there's there's virtually no bezel. There's on the no end, bezels. Right? And you they're, can lick it. inverse bezels. Well, the screen is bigger than the casing. <laughs> I think like there's there's enough to this that there's there's definitely something interesting happening. And like I said, like, you know, in in three or four or five years, like we'll look back and go, oh, like all of this makes sense now. But yeah, it, I mean, it really will be a hard engineering problem. And especially like all the basic stuff that we've seen with other uh, you know, like auto driving vehicles already, like the the basic processing of like, you know, swerving out of the way and prioritizing how you avoid having something escalate into a much larger issue very quickly. <laughs> there are a lot of those things that that um, a person can do very easily that so far, like the AI piece of it has utterly failed at. So I right. think there's a certain amount That's of kind of what you were said, saying like, at the beginning, really. Yeah, like there's a, there, there's stuff that Apple tries that that doesn't go anywhere that that isn't going to do anything, but they learn something from it and then right. take that forward. And so, you know, like Renee was saying, um, it's not that Apple necessarily thinks that that AR itself is the way, but they think that you know democratizing AR, turning it into something lots of people can use, lots of super creative people with lots of ideas for how AR could be useful in a particular way or fun in a particular way. Like that's why we keep seeing it like at WWDC every year when they talk about the improvements that have been made and you know now you can play with pretend Lego on your desk uh, just by pointing your iPhone at it or whatever. Like that's where those things are coming from is they're democratizing all of that so that somebody has a really good idea and can turn that into something great. It's the same thing we saw with the iPad. It's the same thing we saw with the iPhone and, you know, and like with the watch and stuff like increasing the utility of what Apple's doing, helping reel more people into the ecosystem. Like all of that is really smart business. So I'm not surprised in the least they're trying all kinds of stuff to get at it. And I think whatever we get from them is going to be really interesting, even if it's not something that I personally want to take into my life immediately. I'm definitely going to be interested in what it is and how it's going to kick the door open for other people. Well, but I, again, it also may be nothing that ever is released. That oh, it, yeah, it yeah. could, be, it could go on the shelf. never get it any more, than you got an, yeah, any more than you got an Apple television set or a 5G MacBook Air. Everyone just, is going to do the CSI Miami video for it. They're going to put it on and go, yeah, and then they're going to do their video. <laughs> right. And I'm just going to want to turn the TV off. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> just, just a, re, a reasonable caution. Uh, any company like Apple, especially Apple because they have a big R&D budget now and they have a lot of money to spend, is going to be looking for what's next and yep. it doesn't necessarily mean any of that emerges from the lab. A thousand no's for every yes means you got to make right. a thousand also, products to right. say no to. Also, yeah. also remember that yes. when when also remember that when Apple released the iPhone, everybody knew that they were working. They were probably imminently going to be releasing an iPhone. Uh, everybody was ninety nine percent sure it was going to happen during the keynote. They delivered it by. I don't think anybody correctly predicted the shape and the form of the right. phone that they were going no. to release. So there's there's so many variables here. That's this is this is where it's. I I make. I'm not usually like someone who enjoys rumors because my my point of view is that look, you're making a rumor about what's going to, something we're actually going to be having in our hands in eight months even apple doesn't know exactly what features the next phone is going to have why i don't I, it's, it's kind of a waste of time for as far as i'm concerned but this sort of stuff is really really fun because the possibilities for the company like apple are very very great they're not they're not like the things that you get you see at ces where it's like oh great so you have a phone with a rolling screen i'm i'm going to count the days until that becomes an actual shipping working product because i'm sure you wouldn't show it off just to get press during ces apple <laughs> works very hard to make sure they don't get any press before the the magical day so that's it's gonna be fun